Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about editable images in Cricut Design Space. So if you've been on Cricut Design Space lately, you might have noticed a new button on the left hand side. That button says editable images. What does that mean? Those are images where you can edit a portion of the design right in Cricut Design Space and customize it to whatever you would like it to be. So I thought today we would take a look at those images, how they work, and how you might use them for your Cricut projects. Now these do work with any Cricut machine, so no matter what machine you have, you might see this button. Now I am doing this tutorial on a PC, on a computer, so things might look different if you're on a Mac or if you're on a mobile device. So let's head to Cricut Design Space and take a look at editable images. So on the left, you'll see a button that says editable images. And if you click that, it'll pull up the ones in design space that you can edit. So when you see these images, most likely you'll see things that have say names on them, like happy birthday, Shay. Things with years on them, like goodbye 2022, welcome 2023. Gift tags that have names, like this one that has a to and a from. And even certain words. So like this one that says best football coach ever. Maybe you have a basketball coach or softball coach that you want to give a gift to and would want to change that word. So when you're looking for images, you can either click the editable image button on the left hand side. Or as you're scrolling through images, you can look for the editable image icon on the designs as you're scrolling. So let's add one of these to design space and take a look at how it works. So I'm going to pick an image and click add to canvas. So this image comes in as several different layers. So you can see all the different layers. The layer that you can edit is actually the one in blue. So these black layers, I could not edit those. So let me pick, say, the word story. You can see that it's just a cut and I can't edit it at all. However, if I pick the 20XX, which is blue, I can see that that's actually a font. So it pulls up the font here. So I could double click and I could change to a year. I could also click and I could pull down the font menu and I could change this to a different font. So here I picked a different font that I liked and I can also resize the portion that I can edit. So I could resize it to a different size if I would like. And if I click just that layer, I can move it around. So the layer that's editable, you can change a variety of different ways. And then once you're ready to make it, you would just click make it. And I'm gonna say on a mat and click continue. And you can see that it's ready to cut. Because it's an editable image made in Cricut Design Space, you don't have to attach it together or anything. It comes in just like you want it. You just edit the layers that you need to. So let's now just click just regular images and let's type love story. So I'm just in regular images, not in the editable images tab, and I can click editable text here. And now we see that same file that I just used and edited. And I didn't even have to use the editable images tab. So if you are searching for anything in Cricut Design Space while you're in images, click the editable text or look for the editable text icon on each of the images if you're looking for something that you can edit before you cut. And I did want to point out, even after I save this, this text is still editable. So it does not change after you save it, as long as you don't do something like weld the text. So I really think this new image type in Cricut Design Space really changes things. Now you can have custom designs right in Cricut Design Space. And I really hope that Cricut starts adding more of these type of editable images to the platform because being able to customize things easily is the reason I purchased my Cricut to begin with. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about editable images, please ask those in the comment section below. If you liked this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already headed over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and make something amazing with your Cricut machine and editable images. Thanks y'all, bye-bye.